I understand it's 2024 and this not our grandparents' age and a lot of you feel as though, you know, the Bible is outdated. I understand all that, but let me just tell you this. Listen, there are a lot of dangers and risks that comes from having casual sex, right? And I'm not going to be a hypocrite because, you know, I had my, my fair share, right? So I'm not saying it like almighty. I'm just, I just want you to be aware of the risk. And I'm mainly talking to the young people, right? Risk number one. You could find yourself in a situation where you're with the wrong person for far too long and it can derail your entire life. You're with the wrong man, you're with the wrong woman, and first you start off as a casual thing, the next thing you know you're in a relationship with this person, then after that you find out they got insecurities, they got issues, they're abusive, they got all kinds of stuff going on, they can get you hooked up and hooked into all kinds of stuff. You spend, sometimes you can spend several years with the wrong person, which is going to take you in the complete wrong direction in life and, and just distract you from where you want to go and where you're trying to go. And by the time you get loose to that person, your self-esteem, your self-worth, and all that kind of stuff is so messed up, it could be hard for you to get back on track to where you were before you met them. That's one danger. Second thing. In 2024, in many instances, raw sex is normal, right? And so what a lot of people won't talk about and what a lot of people don't say out loud is, listen, there are far more people out here moving around with incurable diseases than you would ever imagine. Especially nowadays, because with all the different medication, there are people moving around here with, with, with HIV and AIDS that look fine on the surface. And you wouldn't even know it if they don't tell you. There are so many people out here who have herpes who you wouldn't know it. And they'll let you do all kinds of stuff with them without protection, without even saying nothing. So just, just beware. I know because, you know, it's not the 90s, so we don't have the same, you know, six stigma around, oh, you're going to catch AIDS. So a lot of us think AIDS disappeared. No, it ain't, it ain't gone nowhere. It's still around and so is herpes. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just letting you know. Third thing, you could mess around and have kids with the wrong person. So next thing you know, you could be a woman and now you're a single mother. And so all the goals and dreams and aspirations that you had, you got to put that on the back burner. And your kids are going to suffer to an extent because they're supposed to have the masculine and the feminine in the house at the same time. Mom and dad loving each other, showing how it's supposed to go, and they don't have that. And now you got to try to be the nurturer and disciplinarian. you got to try to be the mother and the provider all at the same time. And next thing you know, you're tired and you're struggling, especially if you got a boy or if you got more than one. I'm trying to tell you. Or the flip side, you're the man and you had a baby with this woman and it didn't work out. And now you're getting alienated from the child and she don't want to let you see the child and child support and all kinds. Of, like, it's, it's some people in some crazy situations going to pick up the child and the new boyfriend is standing out there ready to fight you or the brothers, this and that. And picking up the child and kidnapping them and, and leaving states and changing phone numbers. You can't find the kid, telling the kid you don't want all kind of stuff. And what a lot of people don't talk about is this casual sex thing can get dangerous. When you operate in, in, in your flesh and your desires and what feels good to you, sometimes you put logic and vetting and common sense on the back burner because you just want to feel good in that moment, at in that night. And so next thing you know, you alone with somebody that you really don't know like that and you letting your guard down and you, sometimes you're falling asleep around them or you're going to places you've never been before all hours of the night, don't know where you're at, don't know who's there, don't know the person. People are getting robbed. People are getting sexually assaulted. People, all kinds of stuff is happening all because you operate in, in your, your desires. And you next thing you know, you don't went somewhere that you don't know nothing about the area. You really don't even know the person like that. You don't know if they got roommates. You don't know if they live with a bunch of other men. You don't know if they live with a bunch of other women. You don't know what kind of lifestyle they into. And next thing you know, you wind up drugged or you wind up robbed or you wind up being taken advantage of. All kinds of stuff happen. Because you want to, you just, you, you, you having fun as they say. And then a, a, another practical 
reason, an issue with casual sex that a lot of us really don't think about until the time comes is when you decide that, you know what, I didn't have my fun or whatever you want to call it, and now I'm ready to settle down and start a family and get married. Listen, turning off your flesh is not as easy as you think it is. I know you think, you know, I'm in my in my twenties, and then when I hit thirty, I'm a I'm a now I'm be a one woman man. Or I'm 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 a no more hot girl summers. Listen, let me let me tell you something. It's not as easy turning it off as you think it is. That's what you gotta understand. Doing things that that are fun and that feel good that aren't necessarily healthy for you. Those things are very easy to get into. And very hard to get out of. Right? It's real easy to go to a party, have yourself a drink, smoke you a little marijuana. I, I, see, I'm an old man. I don't say marijuana. <laughs> smoke you a little something, something, right? It's real easy to go over his house, go over her house, have a good time. It's real easy to get into things that feel good. It's re- but it's hard to get out of it. Getting that first drink, hitting that first joint, sleeping with that first person, it wasn't hard at all. It was easy. It was full access right there for you. Getting away from it, that's going to be the hard part. And a lot of you think, man, in my mind, whenever I wanted to do something with somebody, it didn't matter. I just went ahead and did it, and I didn't have to answer to nobody. It wasn't nobody's feelings going to be hurt. I didn't have to show no discipline. I didn't have to... Show no restraint. I didn't have to think about nobody else's feelings. I could just do what felt good to me in the moment and didn't matter. And I'm going to just turn that off because I met somebody. Or I'm ready to get married. Yeah, it sound good. And some people are able to flip that switch relatively quickly. But a lot of, a lot of people, when they finally did meet the man, when they finally did meet the woman, they wound up losing them. Why? Because even though things were good, they didn't they couldn't turn off that switch fast enough. They could not turn it off. And so they wound up stepping out and now they lost the one thing that actually meant something to them because they had gotten into a habit of just doing anything with anybody. So I'm just I'm just once again, I've been there, so I'm not judging you. I'm just letting you know. It sounds good. It sounds fun. But it's consequences.